All right, so this is uh, my last fight at Galaxy Stadium in Batong. Um, this is Sam Rechda. He's a trainer at Tiger Muay Thai. Um, powerful southpaw back in his day, but this ended up being somewhat of a mismatch. Um, yeah, I guess he's looking for that inside and kind of pedaling back and forth between stances. So th these are only three round fights. So you kind of have to score. The, the ref is a little bit busy, as you can tell. Really, really wanted that dump and completely missed it. I was lucky with my my uh, evade encounters on the, on the picks that night. My boxing's kind of lack. Oh, there we go. Nice little combination. The ties a lot of times will start. Ooh, nice left hand over the top. Counter with a, another low kick. I found a lot of times the southpaws are so used to setting up angles on, on right-handed guys. That moment that you switch stance, a lot of times can kind of keep them off guard, or catch them off guard, rather. He's actually going to go on to land. Oh, and I just missed that kick after the sweep. He'll go on to land that left hand a couple times. My coach, uh, Krulam, actually is, is friends with this guy and told me a little bit of what to expect. He said he was a very good fighter back in his day. <coughs> Doing some karate stuff. <laughs> Big knee of the body. You can really hear the crowd super stoked when he lands. There's there's lots of Tiger Muay Thai people in the crowd. They had three people fighting that night to only two two people from AKA fighting. There's also tons of people betting on the tie, which seems like an obvious choice versus a foreigner, but that'll go on not to be a great bet. See, again, the ref steps in. It's like, dude, just let us fight. Get out of the way. Very busy refs here. I'm just using, trying to use my length, use my reach to keep them kind of where I want them. Round two of three. Trying to put my, my cross right behind that right kick. Ooh, almost wrapped my foot around his neck there. Came in heavy with the punches right then. Almost got the sweep again, the same one I was looking for earlier. Missed the axe kick. Start to try and showboat a little, and I'm missing. I'm swinging wild. I'm super off balance here. It hurts me to watch, actually. Ooh, but then I get him with that knee. Bing, bing. Something I've been messing around with a lot. If, if fighters are going with it, see, there's that left hand. I'm saying, nah, man, it bounced off my elbow, and then I give him my elbow. Come on. <laughs> Oh yeah, if, if your opponent, your sparring partners are going with that inside low kick a lot, just switch with it. Instead of blocking, 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 switch stance as soon as it hits and then and box off of it. The ref actually stood in that time, got in the way a little bit. Do that some heavy hands. Mm 
Well, I'm really lucky he didn't elbow just then. I would have been. <laughs> Landed that one to the body. That'll pay off in a second. Tornado kick, flying knee, knee. His corner got real mad just now, thinking that I was holding on to the ropes, but I was just, my arm was over it. I wasn't like pulling on the ropes. A lot of times the ties will try and rope a dope you into to coming coming to them. But I know better, I know I know a trap when I see it. I know I'm being baited. So I, I get close until they pull the trigger and then I try and counter. That time I should have switched all the way instead of pulling my feet together. Bing! Super active with the teeps and the stand switches in this fight. Ooh, watch this, watch this. Sweet. Jab, jab. Elbow, left kick. Bing! Finally learned that wheel kick on my on my right side. So I low kicked him, or uh, low blowed him there, but he shakes it off. Should have just right kicked again. <laughs> Flying knee attempt. And then he lands another big punch. And he's walking in, he's walking straight in. See, when he's not trying to bait, when he's letting me circle off and counter, I'm, I'm scoring left and right, but. He was doing much better when he was countering. Ooh, caught me again. Better tighten up that guard, Waters. I just kind of lay up, lay on him here. We slip, we both slip and fall, but I don't make it any easier for him to get up. You'll see that pretty much any of my fights. I'm not gonna go out of my way to help you get up. Man, he was really laying into the body, and right then, this is when I felt him kind of give up. This is when he didn't get that dump, I felt him take a big deep breath. Tornado kick, wow. knee to the body, liver punch, switch stance, right to the body, left knee to the body to seal the deal. That's good night, folks. I was happy to have ended it without really, really hurting him at all because he is well respected in the community and I got nothing but respect and love for these guys. So sometimes these mismatches happen and Sometimes I think trainers will take take fights just for the for the easy paycheck, but I ain't no easy money, baby. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. I, this was my uh, I think my 17th fight. Um, yeah, it's good good experience, good ring time. Definitely not my, my, my toughest match, my toughest opponent, but regardless, I'm, I'm happy to have, to have shared it with this guy and share it with you guys. <laughs> the freaking, the promoter there, man, he's always messing with me. <laughs> oh, and of course, you gotta cork, you gotta cork your way out, of course. <laughs> oh, I started to go into the middle rope and Pay's like, nope. <laughs> All right, thanks again for for watching you guys and um I'll see you next time.